you all. Love trotting chick over here. Uh, camping in Western Sahara. I'm in my two man tent. You wouldn't think so by looking at it right now, but it's so windy that I couldn't even put up my tent and I had to basically peg it down with rocks. Um, and the ground was so hard that the pegs wouldn't go in. So it's held down by rocks. It's super windy in here. And a two man tent feels like very much like a one man tent right now. But anyway, this is the experience of camping. <clears throat> bush camping out in the wild and with no amenities it's very cool and a lot of character building over here i'll keep the stories coming ciao so i'm gonna give you an idea of what's going on over here my tent nearly blew away after i put it up in spite of rocks and all that kind of stuff holding it down had to send an sos flashing signal to the boys to come and help me and they were able to finally peg it down, but if I let go of this, which is where my legs are, the whole thing just balloons in and threatens to cave in. So I've got my legs up there, um, and I'm kind of just laying here. Let me try and figure out how to do this so I can show you what's going on. Oh, this is going to be a long night. So as you guys can tell, I did end up buying a pillow because my pack pillow that I brought from the US was too small and for five months it was going to be super uncomfortable. So I did end up buying a, a, this pillow, which was basically $2. Anyways, so right now I'm lying diagonally in my tent. I should be lying this way, but I'm lying diagonally because I'm trying to hold this part of the tent with my knees and my legs trying to keep it from blowing away. See that right there? And I'm kind of angled in a very strange angle. I don't know how I'm going to sleep tonight, but trying to take this baby down and transfer it to the truck would be entirely too much work and that's not gonna, that's not gonna be fun. It's already like nine o'clock right now. So anyways, we shall see how this goes down. Uh, just hope I don't have to send an SOS in the middle of the night. So if not, I will be staying awake and sleeping tomorrow on the truck. See you all later. Good night from Western Sahara. <laughs>